Now the solution of this question. So again, you have to follow the format. Name of the company, cash flow statement, and clearly mentioning the direct method or indirect method. For the year ending 31st December 2020, cash flow from operating activity. In indirect method, as I said, we have to start with the profit before interest and tax. So we need to find out from the income statement that what is the profit before tax and interest. That figure should be. In fact, sometimes it happens that we are not given clearly that this is the amount of profit before interest and tax. So we need to make some adjustments about interest and tax so that we can start with this figure that the profit before interest and tax. Then add back to depreciation and the gain less. Depreciation, how this figure is depreciation calculated, if there is a notes to it. We will see into that. Then we have tax paid. Again, we have to see the note. And similarly, interest paid. Sometimes it happens that they directly pay and then report in income statement. So then there is no problem. But the problem is when there is out, normally it happens the tax of this year is going to be paid next year. So there is a liability over there. So we need to find out how much tax is paid during the year. No matter whether it is current year or previous year. We have to see the tax paid during the year. Then the change in working capital. As I said earlier, that uh, this is a difficult part, that whether the change will in inflow or change is outflow. For example, the increase in account receivable. Now my question is, how this is an outflow? It's very difficult to, to understand this. As I said, it's simple formula. If the current assets are increasing, it is outflow. And if current assets are decreasing, it is inflow. Very simple, but there is no need to think about it. Similarly, in liability case, if the liabilities are increasing, it's a reverse of that. It is inflow. And if the liability, current liabilities are decreasing, it is outflow. So that's a simple way. If you try to maneuver it, then it will be difficult for you. So it's interestingly, you just use this formula. So the account receivables is uh, increasing the outflow. Inventory is increase, increasing also outflow and increasing in accounts payable inflow and decrease in accrued expense, decrease in accrued, uh, liability decreasing. So it's inflow again. And then we have cash flow from investing activity, purchase of plant, sale of plant, and then sale of uh, investments. They are the amount you investing activity. And cash flow from financing activity, dividend paid, issue of bonds issue of shares, cash inflow from financing activities and net and then there is a opening cash balance and we add it. So we got the closing cash balance and you will see this is there in your income balance sheet you will see the closing balance is this. So similarly I prepared the direct method also but the direct method answer and the indirect method answer of cash flow from operating activity is the same. Now the working, you can look at the working also, that how the figures are coming, uh, we worked out them. That's simple, it's not that difficult. The ledger accounts we prepared and just look into those ledger accounts and you will come across how the figures are worked out. Thank you very much.